North Dakota received roughly $1.1 billion from the American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA. About $423 million of those dollars have already been allocated, leaving about $700 million left for lawmakers to decide how to spend. Reporter Matty Beer Temple has been following along with today's meetings discussing what to do with the money. Matty. Hi, Nicholas and Brooke. All month, House and Senate committees have heard lots of proposals from state agencies and legislators hoping to get their constituencies a cut of the cash. Here's a glimpse at some of those proposals. Lawmakers on the state's two appropriations committees have heard more than 100 pitches this month. So my proposal is to give $1,293.17 back to every man, woman, and child in the state of North Dakota. But not everybody's idea will make the cut. There's more than $8 billion in proposals, but only about $700 million to spend, meaning many ideas will be stalled. It might just mean that the next session will be the more appropriate time for the legislature to mull over. Requests ranged widely. One plan would build a new women's prison. Let's go ahead with a $25 million project looking at serving 70 women. Another would renovate the state's public health lab, which ran out of space this past year due to increased COVID-19 testing. We are respectfully requesting 30 million to create a state-of-the-art lab. And with this improvement, we will be able to address a lot of our um, constraints. Democratic lawmakers focused on funding child care. It's something that we have not invested in, in my opinion, in the state, and I really think that this is one aspect of solving part of the workforce challenge in our state. Wednesday was the final day of hearings before the entire legislature will come back for an abbreviated session to decide on not only ARPA dollars, but redistricting. By next week, we'll be ready to um, build a bill. Lawmakers will soon come up with an omnibus bill encompassing which proposals made the cut. And the entire legislature will start debating it November 8th. We'll see what happens. Maddie Beer Temple reporting. Thank you very much.